Hello and good morning. Uh, uh, welcome to another video. It's uh, ooh, um, about half an hour before sunrise and I'm in Marazion down on the South Cornish coast and um, I'm down here to try and pick up some uh, early morning um, goodness really. Um, the, the forecast is for um, for sun around seven o'clock but the sunrise is about quarter past six and it's looking a little bit um, uh, cloudy at the moment so I don't know if we're going to get very much light but uh, we can hope. I'm down here in Cornwall uh, working on a project which uh, I'll be excited to tell you about at some stage but I can't do it just at the moment uh, and uh, I, I've had a great week. I've, um, I've made some uh, I think some some interesting pictures. <laughs> A stranger in the night Take a chance for some romance Don't copy your eyes We'll our trees Know you better than anyone else It's time you let your guard down For someone like me for those of you who know uh, St Michael's Mount, um, it's a it's a small island just off the the coast. There's a, a, a causeway that walks uh, out to it. Uh, the um, the tide is falling. It's been falling for about three hours. So. Uh, the beach is sort of half exposed and I'm not sure quite how much of the causeway but I thought I'd start off by um, jumping down onto the causeway and hoping for some light. Uh, the light will be uh, to the side I think uh, for the mount so I'm hoping that there'd be some some nice light on the mount but we'll, we'll see and if that doesn't work we'll do something else. Uh, as always I'm always really pleased to be out and um, uh, making some photos, so um, let's jump into it. So I've shot St Michael's Mountain a couple of times before. As you can see, this, um, this causeway goes off to one side and then um, just angles back towards the, um, the mount. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to see that kink uh, today, uh, but uh, we're, we're playing with the tide. The tide is falling, but occasionally I'm getting a little bit wet as uh, a bigger wave comes in. Um, the clouds seem to be breaking up a little bit, so I'm hopeful that the uh, there might be some light on the uh, on the mount. If I flip you around, um, there you you see the clouds, um, and where I'm um, aiming the camera is sort of where the sun should be coming up from. I haven't looked at any of those really definitive uh, indicators of of where the sun is on and at any particular day, but. Uh, I'm aiming the camera sort of due east, so I'm hoping that uh, some light will appear from there uh, fairly soon and, uh, and, uh, and light up uh, this thing. Even with just a few seconds uh, while I've been recording this, it looks like it's getting a little bit lighter. So I'm going to get my camera out and start uh, focusing. So just before I start shooting, I'm using a wide angled lens today, my 10 to 24 on my Fuji X-T3. I'm just going to show you the effect of uh, either tilting or um, um, moving the uh, camera up or down. If I tilt the camera down, you'll see the effect on the, uh, on the causeway and the impact on the size of the mount in the picture. So there you see the mount gets much smaller and the, uh, uh, the causeway becomes a dominant feature in the frame. 
by tilting the camera upwards I've um, diminished the importance of the uh, uh, causeway and uh, made the mount more of a focal point. What I love about St Michael's Mount and Marazion is you get these great big skies and if the light catches it, which it's not really doing at the moment, you can get some really beautiful um, sort of wide angled shots. So I'm not sure that the, um, the light is really going to uh, come in. The clouds are uh, playing a little bit hard and fast with uh, uh, letting some of the sun through. Um, it's now about five minutes to sunrise and we're hoping for a bit more light. So I've got a polarizer on the lens which is just sort of darkening up the clouds a little bit or uh, just creating a little bit more contrast because the, the light is coming on from the side polarizer works more effectively. I'm shooting at ISO 160 uh, f8 and uh, it's giving me a, uh, about a one and a half second. Now I've just come off the causeway a little bit, uh, just uh, a, f a few yards, and uh, there's this beautiful uh, pool that's now a reflecting pool. And uh, if I can show you this, what you can see is that the mount is being beautifully reflected in this pool. And uh, although I don't normally um, like using an, you know, a central column, and I've um, I'm using this Leo photo. It's got this um, uh, extension rod which just provides enough elevation to get the full reflection uh, in the picture. So now the sun's up, uh, we're getting some nice reflections on the, uh, uh, on the water as the, um, as the waves come in uh, and there's a bank of, um, uh, of birds uh, just on the horizon and I thought it makes some interesting um, uh, ICM pictures. So I put a, uh, and I'm using my 55 to 200 uh, lens, I'm sort of extending out to about 100 mil and uh, I'm using a um, six-stop uh, ND filter uh, with a half-second um, shutter speed uh, and uh, let's see how we get on. So just mo I'm just going to be moving on the horizon uh, from, from left to right or from right to left and, and, and just trying to get some banks of the waves coming in. Huh. Apparently we have a, a lorry going across the, uh, the causeway. Well, that's okay, because with ICM it sort of disappears anyway. Yeah. 
So that's a, a nice little end to the uh, the morning's photos. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video and if you have please consider giving it a thumbs up maybe think about subscribing um, and uh, I hope you're going to join me on a, another adventure uh, in the coming days and weeks uh, so thanks very much for watching and uh, hope to see you on the next one and bye for now